looks so fancy. It's adorable. Disney World. Disney World. We're here with Anna. I didn't really give warning to this vlog, I'm so smart. But we got vanilla cold. Wait, what's this called? <laughs> mocking me because I only call it the Harry Potter world. I do not call it the Wizarding World. I'm Harry Potter. Yoo -hoo. Look at that castle. Oh my god, look at it on its nose. Yes. <laughs> so pretty. Make a sneeze or Steve or whatever it's called. Let's do it. A sneeze, Sneeville, Steveville. Sneeville. This is our background. I selected a table that was nice and had a good background. Hogwarts is behind us. Well, Hogwarts. That's behind us. And here's your food. It is lovely out. We're on a Cade hunt. We're looking for Cade and Nicole. And we'll find them eventually, but it's literally beautiful out. We're also transferring to Universal. <laughs> What's the word? Park hopping? Do they use that word here? I don't know. I will say transfer then. I like transfer. Thank you. You girl went so long. Hey. This is so cool. Hi! Okay. The gang's all here. Yeah. Why do I feel 
that was sarcastic. You are very smart. Wow, look at that. Never had a beignet before, so let's do this thing. Tastes like funnel cake. Okay. Welcome back to the <laughs> Amazing.
like crossroads for a second. trying to get me killed. <laughs> the weather right now is ungodly perfect. So perfect. It's that very nice freshness. Like it's that perfect, like still a little humid, but still a nice cool breeze, but not a cold breeze. Just chill breeze, great vibes. Kaden, like, on a walk back to the car, a Vulcan and I were chatting about the car. Cade made me feel really good because he made me realize stuff about my life and that made me feel good. Um, gave me some deep elevations and then we had a great chat on the ride home. And just now, and it was nice because uh, even though I'm happy to leave all the time of my life down here, there have been two thoughts. And I'm happy Cade also felt that way of like, just kind of being stuck a little bit and it's like yeah because I do there are days where when I work 14 hour shifts I'm like I hate that I'm just getting through my day like I hate that that's kind of like a waste of a day because I'm not actually doing something for myself I'm coming to work and that's it and like I'm just basically waiting for the day to be over like I feel the same way about school like I would hate that um and then Wanting to, like other, do wanting to do other stuff like travel and stuff. And I think about this a lot when I go to Epcot. How much I want to be the, out of these spaces in your life. But I really am having a time in my life down here. I am having so much fun and I love it. It's just nice also touching base on those points too and seeing that other people feel the same way too. But we're gonna be fine. Boom. Home sweet home. I love it off today. I'm a little big sad though because, um, why am I big sad? Oh, because I'm working a six day this week. Uh, I like my off days so much. I feel a higher pot of representation. That crazy roller coaster blown hair. I got G her Slytherin backpack, so it's this one but Slytherin. Um, yeah, I need a bathroom really badly though. So I'm gonna stop talking to y'all and go to the bathroom. Bye. Hello. I don't know what it is. I'm like kind of sad. I feel like 
like I absolutely love the weather outside right now but like it would be like this in Arizona to be kind of sad too it's like I'm longing for an adventure to go along with the weather if that even makes sense it's like my brain's like but where's the adventure like we got this beautiful weather where's the adventure like as I'm like doing something like my hair looks like tie-dye like it anyway like I don't even know if that makes sense but it makes sense to me of like doing something along with it I don't know kind of sad I don't know I miss my family I wish I could be here enjoying the nice weather with me everyone told me this is why like I would love a therapist I'd love to be able to pinpoint my emotions and I would just literally have someone tell me what the hell is going on in my head I know it's my head, but sometimes, dog, like, I really can't pinpoint shit. <laughs> like, Cade literally pinpointed something about myself that I've known for a while, but never really knew. Just thought it was something that came naturally to me. Like, the way I was, like, the way I'm able to get over things so well. I thought it was just something that was a part of me. And, like, he, like, just said to me, he was, like, saying tonight, he was, like, no, like, because I was, like, you know, I hate change. Like, I was like, I, I love change, but I hate change. And it's usually more hate change, but I'm really good to adapting to it. And he's like, well, that doesn't surprise me because of all you've been through. And I always just never even think about the fact that I've even been through things because I don't really think I have. Like, I have. Like, I have. Like, I have. But, like... I've told myself I haven't, and especially because I've been told by people, like, <laughs> family members, that I haven't really. Um, and, like, you know, I've convinced myself, you know, I, and I also do very much understand how other people have had it much worse, and so I don't, like, be, like, sad about it. Like, I've been through shit, yeah, but I, again, get over things. Anyway, I get over things really well. And I've had to make myself understand that what I've been through still is traumatizing, still is a lot. That's why I don't mind being like, yeah, the trauma I went through, like, the abuse I went through, like, come in clutch now. Like, with when I make up white lies to get myself out of trouble, it's like, yeah, that's my abuse talking. <laughs> that's the shit I've gone through talking. Because um, it is abuse at the end of the day. The shit I went through growing up was abuse. And, yeah, maybe I was never hit, but the shit I went through was still fucking annoying as shit. And I just don't think about it. And that's okay too. Like, I just don't really think about it. But I think I do need to remind myself I have gone through things. And that's why I might feel a certain way. And I am a lot. I don't know. Like, I just have to remind myself you did go through things. So don't let people invalidate what your experiences are. And also, don't invalidate it yourself. I only invalidate it because I do honestly do believe there are people that have gone through worse. And I've also been invalidated so much that I like think, I'm like, oh, yeah, so do I've gone through worse. Anyway. Um, but yeah, Kate's like, with everything you've gone through, he's like, you know, I don't know everything, but what you've talked about, and I'm like, mm. and then I started overanalyzing, I'm like, but what I've said, like, is it really that bad? Like, but like, he made like such a valid point of like, he was like, of what you've talked about, like, going through that, especially at such a young age, it messes with you, and like, whatever. And he's like, and like, and also, he's like, and that's why you're good at adapting things. And also, like, he made me, like, realize, like, he didn't say it, but I was like, and, like, I had divorced parents. Like, I was constantly having to adapt to things. Like, constantly having to adapt to things. Because I was constantly changing houses. I was constantly with, you know, different parents. Like, I would go Tuesdays and Thursdays on my dad, Monday and Wednesdays on my mom. And then the weekend flipped. Saturdays and Friday and Saturday would be one parent, and Sunday would be another parent. Like, I didn't even think about it like it's like I literally used to do that like I was constantly changing constantly adapting and you know, that's really destructive for to have to grow up like that it's a really messed childhood but I had to do it which could explain why I'm good at adapting so yeah so he just made me realize that about my life I'm like wow so yeah but I am really proud of myself I love the human I am I was just talking to Anna earlier, we were having deep chest as well earlier while eating. I got a little emoji, but like thankfully he didn't cry, but I felt like I was going to. I was like, ooh. But I've just been hating how over analytical I am. I just hate it. I really genuinely hate it. I don't wanna overanalyze everything. I don't wanna always be spiraling. I just don't wanna feel like I'm overanalyzing everything. 
But yeah, that's the only thing I would really love to change about myself right now is just a little bit of lasting. But no, we're good now. I am mean, good. I just need food, definitely. It was a good day. When we all met up, though, I was very tired, and I did feel like I was out of it, and like I felt like I felt stressed to like make it seem like I was still a bit in it, in it, but like I wasn't because I was tired and like out of it. And when we get in group settings, I tend to like be more quiet if no one's really talking to me. Like if no one's talking to me, I'm just going to stop talking. Like I don't, I don't know. If I no one's talking, why would I talk? You know, it's talking directly to me, like, why would I talk? Especially if we're, like, talking about things that maybe I don't really have anything to say on it. Or if I'm struggling to get a word in, then I'm really going to shut down. Um, yeah, so, yeah. It was a good day. It just got a little weird at that point because I, like, didn't know. Like, it just got a little odd. I felt just off because like, I felt like I needed to. That's, like, a problem, too. It's, like, the fact that I need to do this around the people I was around. I felt like I needed to like show that I was still there. Um, but yeah, so it was just something. <sighs> Poor good, like I just, I'm just tired and I need food, but it was a good day. I don't know. The concert was horrible, I did not like that. It wasn't a, like, it, it was just annoying as shit. But writing a bit by Rocket, was really fun. And then getting to have deep chats on the way home was nice. I don't know. Just stop, 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 stop. We're gonna call Bella now, bye.